Hi, uh, just a wee look at uh, some of the windproof smocks I'll, that I have. Uh, I usually wear these when I go bike touring, bike camping, and they're far better than anything you can buy to do with cycling. The cycling stuff's just for racers, really. For bike touring, you need to wear some proper gear. So, my third place choice would be this 85 pattern uh, British Army smock. It's just a, your regular 85 pattern, but I've put on a 68 pattern hood on here. And that is a great jacket uh, for stopping the wind. Keeps you nice and warm when you're out in a kind of cold windy day. Uh, the next jacket would be the 94 pattern smock. Now I really like this smock. Uh, it's got great water repellency uh, features. It's very, very windproof and it's just so comfortable to wear. It's, it's I got a different cut for the, the 85 pattern. It's more a roomy cut. Uh, and it's great. It's great for stopping the wind. So that's a recommended one. And I suppose my favourite would be my homemade smock. That's a made out of a cotton gabardine. That's excellent for keeping out the wind. I think it's slightly warmer than these other two. I've actually wore this in minus two degrees right up to 24 degrees Fahrenheit and the only difference between what you wear in the cold and what you wear in the hot is uh, the amount of stuff you put under it so if it's a warm day you wear a t-shirt under it and if it's a cold day you wear a base layer and a mid layer under it uh, another thing about these coats just for instance, you didn't have a waterproof uh, and you get caught out in the rain. It depends what you wear under them. If you wear a wool, a nice thin wool layer as a base layer and a wool jumper as a mid layer and you wear one of these windproofs and you get soaked, well, the windproof's still going to keep the wind out and the wool is still going to keep you warm even if it's wet so you'll be okay you will survive and you'll survive quite comfortably but I always re recommend that you take a good waterproof with you so you wear these any of these you wear as your outer layer and then you'll change if it gets hot or cold or whatever you'll just change what you've got under them so if it's hot you'll take a layer off underneath it if it's cold you put a layer on underneath it and then you, you've got your waterproof layer for when it rains to keep everything dry so on a bike touring trip or a bike camping trip or any outdoor sort of a trip I do, re I do recommend uh, a good windproof whether you make your own or you buy a, an army one it's probably the cheapest method however if you were to buy a windproof of this quality from a big name manufacturer you would pay a hell of a lot of money for it so it's a cheap way of doing it and it's probably one of the best ways of doing it so Whenever you go camping, take the right gear. Thank you.